Hello, my wonderful people. Make on a yard this headline, you. I don't care to come again. I pop and the DSN lawyer, he don't vow, say he must buy suit of 20 billion naira against Twitter and the DSS of Fulani government of Nigeria. This one is coming from that our Hebrew brother, where in MB, Maxwell Obara, where the DSS can use the same Twitter, can they post the column. Judge and bear lawyer. Hey, this matter do be today, my brothers and sisters. This one, you don't pass, be careful. Anyway, let us go straight to the reason why we are here. As you are watching, make sure say you subscribe. And as you don't subscribe, make sure say you comment. As you comment, try to, try to like the message or the video. And at the same time, the grandmother mother of them all, make sure you share this message. All the very, very important. So let us take the headlines before we come back uh, to analyze the news to very uh, to our very understanding and layman understanding as well. And as indeed, bo, you to don't come again. No, they don't help the southeast governors over insecurity and the security agencies where they don't contact so that they will flush all the hope at Belen where they for where they for we Obodo uh, 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 Biafra land. According to Sheikh Usani, he said, and I quote. Stop inciting coup. Our democracy redeemable. Sheikh Usani warns Nigerians. If you dump air to fire, many Nigerians will be cut off from electricity grid. Voice of Nigeria, Director General, where he named the Osita Okechuku, he wants to numbu. This one, now the people, where they make this country never good. Now then be this. Now then be this. Because air to fire have become a uh, uh, more untouchable in Nigeria. Holiday allowance. All senators received 2 million naira ndume lems ababio for creating a wrong impression. Those faceless persons have deceived you. ADC mocks Dino Malaya. Allow Niger Republic return to democratic government. It will be he don't carry him out to country for this matter where consign Niger. In the tell uh, echo was say may them mellow down and allow them to side their face. Coop. Nigerian military repelled protesters who stormed our facility. Nigerian embassy laments. Prayers say don't fix the finances or stabilize the economy. Father Kevin is telling us that prayers, not everything you say, let us pray. Not according to the time of uh, Buhari, he said uh, the insecurity, we need to pray that the God will help us of insecurity. And look at them. But letter, letter, after the eight years, now you want an American man come tell us, come, come let us know, say, Buhari have been sponsored by the America from Washington, D.C. That is why he is too soft on the uh, Insurgency in Nigeria. In other words, insurgency is being sponsored direct from a White House. Believe it or believe it. This one is not an accusation. This one is what is really happening in this world of today. Anyway, my wonderful people, let us go straight to the reason why we are here this morning. Please like my message, comment, subscribe, and of them all. And I share. Try to share this message. Make it go viral. A public interest lawyer, Maxwell Obara, has vowed to file a 20 billion naira suit against Twitter to be joined by the Department of State Service DSS for the service tweet describing him as an overzealous and uninformed IPOB and ESN lawyer. The lawyer also said he was he has written to Twitter, known as S, for allowing their platform to be used to defame somebody's character. Obara spoke on Sunday when he appeared on a right television morning show program. They called that Maxwell took the DSS to court for the continued detention of Godwin Emefele, the suspended governor of Central Bank of Nigeria, CBN. According to Daily Post, reported that the DSS made a remark describing Obara as a charge and bail lawyer after he filed contempt charges against his director general. Yusuf Bichi over a Mephiles continued detention. 
the secret police in a now deleted post on his twitter handle said the lawyers who filed the charges against Bichi were led by an overzealous and uninformed ipop and esn lawyer so the letter deleted the post, deleted the post right thank god it's come from the official uh, uh, twitter handle however the lawyer said uh, he had written to twitter demanding a party fee of five billion naira but the social media giant didn't respond to him within the one week given to it he added that he had prepared his process to file a suit against twitter to be joined by the dss when the court vacation is over he said well i don't have much issue with the dss because when i saw it i thought that uh, their twitter handle is being hijacked but immediately after i confirmed it i wrote a letter to the national security advisor to the president of the to the president to the senate president to the speaker and to the mba president i have written to them and a few of them have responded i have also written to the twitter for allowing their platform because if you allow your platform to be used to defame somebody's character i think i should concentrate on the person that allowed their platform to be used and they been that twitter complied with their own rules because they have a rule that you don't use their platform to defame somebody so they allowed it and i've also written to them and i just demanded a battery fee of five billion naira one week i gave them have expired so i have prepared my process i am just waiting for the vacation to be off by the first week of september i will file and also join the dss so on the, that particular issue i might not talk too much about it because nigerians have responded to them and i learned that they have pulled down that funny comment after nine days but that will not exonerate them from being liable this is something that i do not i do for others is it my own that i will not do I will file for people or for people whose rights are being uh, violated. Is is it my turn that I will not do? I will do it on my own and do it perfectly. Where they allow me to go to court, I will just make it twenty billion naira, according to Maxwell Obara. Insecurity and there's a youth held Southeast Governors Security Agencies. Apex Igbo Social and Cultural Organization and Eze Ndiberibe Youth Council Worldwide are landed with what is called unity of purpose among the five East governors. The group said this in a communique issued after their meeting in Enugu over the weekend. The communique was signed by East National President Mazi Oku Nabuike after their meeting in Enugu State. They said the collaborative efforts of the governors has, has resulted in the reduction of insecurity in the region. They also held the security agencies for their consistent efforts in riding the southeast of crimes and criminality. According to the Onese youth, we are glad that uh, his present crop of governors or that uh, this present crop of governors are united. We are glad that we now have a governor's forum attended by all the governors and not their deputies in speech volumes. There's no doubt that this unity is uh, responsible for the improved security in the region. The role of the security agencies is also highly condemnable. We all the governors not to relent but remain focused, united and resolute and their move to restore sanity to the region. They equally held the Southeast residents for ignoring the two weeks sit at home uh, order issued by Finland based Simon Egba. They equally held the Southeast residents for ignoring the two weeks sit at home uh, okay, by Simon Egba. We are glad that finally uh, Egba has been decimated. We are happy our people have conquered the terror mentality 
he inflicted on them. With the adequate security pro, uh, provided, the siege is over. Our people have now been freed from the clause of business merchants using the name of Biafra, Oku declared. The communique hinted that other affiliate groups attended the meeting and rested their support for the Oku led leadership. Stop inciting coup. Our democracy redeemable. So, Sani warns entire Nigerians. Amir Alex called for a coup in the country. A former lawmaker, Senator Shehu Sani, believes Nigeria's democracy is redeemable. Daily Post recalls that the defense headquarters recently insisted that the military is happy with uh, happy and there were no plans for a coup in Nigeria. So if they plan for coup, they will come out and say it publicly. Make on a, make on a just go and rest a beg. Speaking on Friday, Defense Headquarters direct, Director Defense Information took Ukusao, frowned at the reports, claiming there were welfare issues within the armed forces of Nigeria, adding that the report in circulation was calling on the military to interfere in the democracy of this country. However, in a post on his social media platform on Monday, Sane are all the countrymen advocating Soliciting or inciting a group in the country to stop. Also, uh, a social cri uh, critic he noted that the struggle for a uh, just, equitable, and more prosperous society could still be won within the context of democracy. He wrote, Our democracy can still be redeemed or redefined. The struggle for a just, equitable, and more prosperous society can still be won within the context of democracy. Our countrymen, please stop advocating, soliciting, or inciting for a coup in Nigeria. If you dump a file, many Nigerians will be cut off from an electricity grid. How? I don't understand. You also do Ketuku. Before I'm seeing you as a man of integrity, but very soon I have known that you are just a nonsense man. Very, very nonsense man at your age. The Director General of the Voice of Nigeria, Osi Dokechuku, has pleaded with President Bolame Tunumbu not to drop former Governor of Kaduna State, Madam Nasri Erufai, from his ministerial appointment. Nigerians recall that the President had nominated Erufai for a ministerial position, but the Senate refused to confirm his nomination, allegedly, over a security report. Speaking on the situation, Okechuku, a member of the All Party Congress, insisted that Air file would be invaluable to Tunumbu's administration, especially in the power sector. He stated, that, uh, he stated this while speaking with the newsman on Sunday in Abuja. The voice of Nigeria director insisted that Air file ejection will lead to the ejection of more Nigerians from the national grid, uh, national electric electricity grid. According to him, the extraordinary, the extraordinary air file tonic was lost by Buhari and one we not like neither our dear nation nor President Tunumbu to miss this rare gem. Hmm. Added is the, that uh, our great party, ABC, will benefit immensely from plethora of performing ministers as we approach 2027 general election. Now you are preparing for 2027 general election. Whereby the same people you people are ruling are dying of hunger and starvation. Shame to all these foolish Igbo politicians. His ejection from the system will regrettably lead to the ejection of more Nigerians from the national electricity grid. A lot of rich Nigerians are already ejected from our public electricity supply chain by the epileptic power supply and many poor Nigerians by high tariffs. We need a unique one like uh, air file to fix it. I am neither a cheerleader or Malap Nasir air file, nor am I saying that he is indispensable. However, as Mr. Project, he is equipped more than some of us to not uh, only transform our electricity chain, 
but sanitize the toxic energy industry. Look at Madam Natural Verify that sanitized toxic energy. <laughs> Let us continue. The Senate Chief Whip, Alain Dume, has blamed the Senate President, Goswila Babio, for the ongoing controversy surrounding the holiday allowance of senators. Nigerians recall that last week, Monday, before the Senate went on races, the President of the Senate said the Senate clerk sent a token to the lawmakers to enable them to enjoy their holidays. A comment he later withdrew to say he was sending prayers into the mailboxes of all the senators for the holiday. The statements are generated that uh, recently arose a lot of controversies as several Nigerians have blamed lawmakers for ignoring the situation of Nigerians. However, reacting to Akpabio's action, Ndume said all senators received 2 million naira each and it is part of their statutory entitlement and nothing special. The Senate, uh, Senate, uh, Senate Whip or Chief Whip blamed Akpabio for his comment while speaking on BBC Hausa service. Ndume said Akpabio's comments were unbecoming of a leader. He said, it is common knowledge that if any employee is going on leave, they are entitled to leave a grant. That was the money we received, and it is nothing unusual or special. All senators received 2 million naira, and I am making this comment with a heavy heart because he, Akbabu, is the cause of this controversy. He created an impression as if we were given some special or huge amount of money what is the big deal if I receive 2 million naira allowance in my capacity as a senator? Make sure I hear the impunity. What is the big deal? What is the big deal that the constituency are dying of hunger, starvation? And you said, What is the big deal? He made a very wrong statement. And I warned him immediately that his comments were on becoming of an elder. In fact, we are even planning to take drastic action against him if he continues making unguided statements and acting as if we are kids. Those faceless persons have deceived you. ADC mocks Dino Malaya. African Democratic Congress has ridiculed the governorship candidate of the People's Democratic Party. Senator Dino Malaye over the alleged defection of his members in the EDA, local government area of Kogi State. Nigerians recall that there, that, uh, there were reports on Saturday claiming that the ADC in EDA, local government, collapsed its structure and defected to PDP for Malaye. However, reacting on Sunday, the Kogi State chairman of ADC, Adaji John, said, the PDP governorship candidate has been scammed by fraudsters. He insisted that, uh, contrary to the reports, the ADC chairman for the Inter Council area, area never visited Malaya and some fraudsters have succeeded in scamming him. John alleged that certain individuals were trying to extort the PDP chieftain. The statement reads In the cell video, only Dino Malaye spoke to the imaginal, imaginary ADC audience. No single face of the audience was shown, nor where, nor where, nor where the ADC party materials they supposedly the camps brought made open. Of course, in designing a mind, we know the story is not true, but we are not uh, surprised that such falsehood have been peddled by the media handles of the PDP governorship candidate. For a start, the name of the African Democratic uh, Congress chairman for Ida Council area is Adejo Amadaji from Egaloba. World definitely. If it has been true that anybody visited or received Dino, it was to scam him, and they succeeded. The development is purely fake, and the move to extort Dino, the face shown in the video. 
is not an ADC party member. In fact, he is an Ibaji man to the best of our knowledge and not a member of our party. Those faceless persons led by the ghost Adejo Haruna, whom the camera intentionally didn't capture, must have played one on the low intelligence of Malayas or paid him back in his own coins because it is in the public domain that Malaya is a scammer and a mentor of scammers. This is purely a case of scamming the scammer. The press statements and the 40 second video have effectively proven that Malaya is a purveyor of falsehoods. And we are worried that Mr. Malaya is already threading the part of APC and Yaya Bello, who have been churning out media reports of receiving a series of fake decampees. Unlike the governor, who managed to back his kangaroo decamping stories with some pictures, Dino Malaye failed to show any. This is the new law of peddling fake news that the PDP candidate had been associated with for a long time just to confuse the people of the state of their relevance. Allow Niger Republic return to democracy or democratic government, Pito B tells Nigeria and ECOWAS. Mr. Pito B of the Labour Party is of the view that the people of Niger Republic should be allowed via national institutions the opportunity to revert quickly to a representative democratic government. This is uh, uh, this is uh, even as he has uh, described the ongoing political crisis in Niger Republic as a matter of dire and urgent national interest and security to Nigeria. Will be said that primacy must be given to the dialogue and diplomacy towards a resolution with minimal disruptive impact on Nigeria and the West African sub region, regardless of the position taken by other various parties. <clears throat> In a statement issued via his verified social media platform on Sunday, the former governor of Anambra State applauded the respective mediatory efforts by General Abusalem Abubakar. His Eminence, Mamar Saad Abubakar, the Sultan of Sokoto, and His Royal Highness Sanusi Lamido Sanusi. The statement read Recent developments in the neighboring Niger Republic have become the subject of international attention. For Nigeria, this development is a matter of their and urgent uh, national interest and security. Inevitably, Niger is a hot button issue for ECOWAS as well as a various international inter intellectuals, regardless of the positions taken by various parties that have direct or tangential interest in Niger, uh, primacy must be given to the dialogue and diplomacy towards a resolution with a minimal disruptive impact on Nigeria and the West African sub-region. A total uh, resolution must take into consideration the real uh, politic of the West African sub-region, according to Peter Ubi, I applauded the respective mandatory efforts by the so-called uh, uh, Abu Salam Abubakar, former head of state in Nigeria, whereas ECOWAS authorities have indicated that they remain open to various conflict resolutions opens, diplomacy, and must uh, remain the overarching, overreaching imperative in resolving the recent crisis. What the situation in Niger urgently calls for is a concerted multilateral coalition of Nigeria, ECOWAS, and the AU and the uh, UN uh, towards a programmed return of a democratic constitutional order. In the process, Nigeria's leadership role must not be in any, any doubt, according to Peter Obi. Nigerian military repelled protesters who stormed our facility. Nigerian embassy cries out. The Nigerian embassy in Niger Republic has revealed that protesters tried invading the facility on July 30. Liti Awalu, in a statement for the Nigerian ambassador to Niger, said on Saturday 
that the Nigerian military and the police were able to repel the attack promptly. He stated this while reacting to a viral video on social media on Friday, alleging that the protesters have burned down the embassy. The statement further said that the embassy is being guided by the Nigerian, Nigerian military and other security agencies to prevent attacks. He said the embassy wishes to inform the general public that even though protesters tried to gain access to the embassy on July 30, 2023, the Nigerian military and the police authorities promptly curtailed the situation. At the moment, the embassy is well guarded by the Nigerian military and other security authorities. We retreat that the videos are fake and as such, the general public is enjoined to disregard such videos. Prayer say can never do what fix our refineries according to Father Kevin. A Nigerian missionary priest working in Gambia, Father Kevin Ugu, has told his followers that prayers do not fix refineries or stabilize the nation's economy. Ugu made the assertion in a post via his verified Facebook page on Friday. The cleric said that the Nigerian or the, uh, the reason some church ministers and priests including him kept advocating for good governors is because people continuously ask them to pray and give them hope and encouragement to withstand the difficulty and hunger in the country according to him the bad government policy could make situations even worse he wrote this situation in which you ask church ministers or priests to continuously pray and give people hope and encouragement to withstand the difficulty and hunger in this country is the reason we kept advocating for good governors because in truth prayers do not fix refineries or stabilize your economy you can organize a 10-day crusade on uh, liberating people from poverty and granting them open doors you may fast and shout all night but just one abado policy implemented you will watch how those whose doors were already opened no longer see even windows to pass through oh so i'm gonna unpaid my dear you heard you get the point and you hit the nail on the head anyway my wonderful people my viewers and subscribers now here we will take back break until you come i come your way again i still remain who could take the talk bringing to you this uh, a very brief one at that according to my what i said earlier that is going to be brief and today it's going to be fire for fire. I'm coming back with another blockbuster. So have a nice day. May the good Lord bless us all. As you share this message, like, comment, and subscribe. It is very, very important and very, very necessary. Do your own. And as I'm doing.